Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see a problem on development of hexagonal pyramid. Initially, I will be explaining you how to read the question and uh, then I will explain how to write the given data from the question and later on, I will explain how to draw the diagram step by step. If you follow all the instruction step by step means it will be very easy for you to grab full 20 marks. So let us see the problem. So what they gave in the question is a hexagonal pyramid of base side 25 mm and height 60 mm. So what kind of solid they gave hexagonal pyramid? If it is hexagonal pyramid means the base diagram would be a hexagon. Okay. So we can draw hexagon in two different ways. Either you can draw like this. Okay. You can draw hexagon this way or else you can draw the hexagon like this way. So one, two, two ways we can draw the hexagon. Okay. So these are the base edges and these are the, sorry, these are the base edges. So what they gave is the height 60 mm rests vertically on HP. So resting will be on HP. We are going, going to draw the base diagram of hexagon in HP. That is clear. But we don't know whether which one to choose. So see the next line. With the base sides parallel to VP. So these are the base sides. See here. These are the base sides. These are the base sides. It's parallel to VP. So here what happens is the base sides are perpendicular to VP. So this one is perpendicular. This one is parallel. So we will be going with this type of diagram. So we are going to draw this type of hexagon as our base diagram in HP. Then what I said, a string is formed around the surface of the piston starting from left extreme, po extreme point on the base passing through the diametrically opposite corner on the top ending of the starting point. So it's directly uh, starting point will be base and ending point will be top. Okay. And uh, find graphically the shortest uh, distance required and also trace the path of the string in front view. So that's what I gave here. So it's very clear. We're just going to go with this type of hexagon. Initially, we'll draw the base diagram of top view and front view of the hexagonal pyramid. So the first step is draw the reference line as X and Y and write VPHP. Uh, draw the hexagon as I said before as the base diagram. So this will be your base. The base is 25 mm. So all the sides are 25 mm. You know how to draw the hexagon. So draw the hexagon and whenever you come across pyramid, we need to give preference to slant edges. So just to cross, just to join F and C and B and E first so that you will be getting a center point O. So from here you need to join OA, OB, OC, OD, OE, OF. All these are called slant edges. Whenever you come across pyramid, you need to give more preferences and importance to slant edges. And one more important thing is, see, check whether the slant edges are parallel to the reference line. See here, OD and OA slant edge is parallel to reference line. So this is a true slant edge. So no need to uh, draw a new slant edge. Okay. Previous problem we, we, we used to do right. So if in case we are having somewhat inclined means we will be drawing a new slant edge. So in this sum, there is no need for those things. Since OD and reference line are parallel, this is a true slant edge. And you need to dimension like this. This is these are the extension line, two H pencil, dimension line H pencil, and the number and uh, airhead should be in your HP pencil. So right now we have completed the top view. By extending the top view points, we can get the front view of the pyramid. The next step is we are going to draw extend all the top view points. See how I'm extending. Keep your scale vertically uh, with respect to A like this so that you'll be getting this point. Keep your scale vertically with respect to F so that you'll be getting one point in reference line. Keep your scale vertically with respect to E, you'll be getting one point and reference line. Keep your scale vertically at D, you'll be getting another point and reference line. So this is the axis, right? So from O, keep your scale vertically at O so that you'll be getting a point here. From this, you need to draw an axis for a height of 60 mm. So axis line should be long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash. Like this only you need to do it up. Just a minute. Yeah. So this is the axis line. Draw the axis line for a height of 60 mm and mark a point here and uh, name it as O dash. Okay. So from here try to join all the points which you got in the reference line like this point, this point, this point, this point. Connect all the points. I will explain how to name it. See A you can see means A dash you need to write. B you can see F you can't see. So B dash bracket F dash. C you can see E you can't see. So C dash bracket E dash. D you can see so D dash. So dimensioning extension line should be 2H, dimensioning line should be H and 60 and arrowhead should be written with your, I mean uh, drawn with your HP pencil. So whatever we got here is the front view. So right now we have drawn the front and top view of the hexagonal pyramid. 
So whenever we come across a primate, we will be going with the radial line method. In case of prism ends, we will go for parallel line method. So for prism and cylinder, parallel line and primate and cone, it's radial line method. So what you need to do is measure from O dash, measure from O dash to D dash. Measure from O dash to D dash. This is your true slant length. So measure it. Take your compass, measure, and then you just draw the line. Or else you can also <coughs> you can also just measure it and just draw a slanting line as you wish. Okay. So O dash to D dash and O to A are same distance. See here, this distance and this distance are same. First draw a line. Then take your compass. Keep your compass at O and measure till A and try to draw a arc like this. But end point we don't know. Okay, end point we don't know. So for finding it, what we need to do is since it's a hexagon prevents so all the sides will be same, right? So only six sides are there. Oh. Five, six, yeah, six sides are there. So we are, what we need to do is we need we need to divide this arc into six equal parts. So measure from A to B or B to C. Whatever maybe you will be having twenty five mm. Keep your compass here. Cut an arc at B for twenty five mm. Keep your compass here. Cut an arc at C for twenty five mm. Keep your compass at C and cut an arc for D for twenty five mm. Keep here and cut an arc for twenty five and keep here and cut an arc for twenty five and keep in and cut an arc for twenty five. Where it ends? Once you divide into six equal parts, see here. So one. Two, three, four, five, six. Just close the arc. So where you cut the last arc, just connect it, and you need to name right O capital letter A B C D E F E. So what they are asking is they are asking us to find the shortest length. The shortest length of the string will be this point to this point. So this is the shortest length. Just connect A to A with your HP pencil and uh, try to mark the naming as one, two, three, four, five, six, and the ending will be one. So this is the shortest distance. And one more important thing is since we are having the visible edges and the edges are very uh, visible, we need to draw a blue color line with your HP because since it's a primate. If in case of cone, we will we will leave we will leave sorry we will leave as like that. Since it's a hexagon or pentagon, we need to draw the edges. So A to B, B to C, C to D with your scale. D to E, E to F, F to A. Draw with your scale. So this is how you need to draw. If you want means you can measure and write the angle, but it's not mandated that you need to show the dimension because they haven't asked in the question or uh, gave the data in the question. It's your own wish. Now what you need to do is you need to measure every points and try to plot the points in the front view of the primary. See here one more important thing is this is our true slant edge. So always measure the dimension and mark here true slant edge and then take to your respective slant edges. So that will be correct. So for example, measure from O to one. So what our distance? Just mark it as one. Okay, O to one. What our distance? You mark it as one. One I haven't uh, written. I will write it later on. Measure from O to two. How much our distance are we? From O dash to two dash, we'll be having the same distance. Measure from O to three. So what our distance are we? From O dash to three dash, three one dash. You just mark it up. Measure from O to four. What our distance are we? Mark it as O to four one dash. Okay. Measure O to five. What our distance are we? You will be getting the third point itself. Just measure. And uh, since it's a uh, reverse and hidden, we will be writing in the back back side. Okay. Five one dash. Measure from O to six. What our distance are we? From here O to six one dash. The same distance will be there. Then what you're going to do is. For for example, two is between O and B, right? Try to extend this point vertically so that you will be getting the two one dash here. Okay, two dash here. Six dash is between O dash and F dash, right? So bracket we will be putting six dash. Three dash is between O and C means just extend it vertically till here. So for uh, placing the point here, we can mark it as three dash. Similarly, we will mark for all the six points. I will explain how to mark now. So see here, one we will be having here. So one like one dash actually it's one dash, not one. So everything is uh, dash only, right? So it's one dash. Okay, one dash. Two. If you extend vertically from the slant, two slanted, you will be getting here point. So two dash, three you will be getting here. Four dash is only same point. Five dash will be here. Five dash will be here. This point is five dash, and uh, this point is called six dash, and reverse it back. Okay. So since uh, hit, uh, we are getting both the points in the same line, we will be uh, focusing only on the uh, visible uh, visible. End of the string, so hidden part we won't show. So join from one dash to two dash, two dash to three dash, three dash to four dash, back to five dash, and then six dash, and returning back. So this is the way you need to draw the string, and then later on we need to trace the points in this uh, top view. So we just one is between O and A means we'll be getting here. Two dash is between O and B means we'll be getting two here, six here like that we're going to trace. So previous problem also we saw many cases like this. So let us solve it and just carefully solve step by step. 
So just try to place the point into of your one is between one a means here you will be getting one. Extend this two dash vertically so that two is between one b dash means between one b you will be getting t two and six dash is between o dash and f dash between o and f you will be getting six. Three dash is between o dash and c dash. Extend it vertically so that between o and c you will be getting third point. Five dash is between o dash and e dash so extend it vertically from here. Extend it vertically so here you will be getting five. Four dash is between o dash and d dash. Extend it vertically here you will be getting four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, back to one. Just join everything. You will be getting a irregular shape. Actually, this is not the uh, hexagon. The, this is the thread wound around the hexagon. So when we wound the thread around the hexagon, we will be seeing like this only from top view. That's what we got. As of now, we have traced the uh, string in the front view as well as in top view. That's what they asked for graphically tracing it up. Uh, heading is development of hexagon plummet, height of the text is 10 mm and uh, two, you need to write two lines, all dimensions are in mm and scale 1 is to 1, the height of the text is 5 mm and uh, you, you need to use a pro circle and uh, write the question number and for putting the bottom use HV pencil, 20 mm from left, 10 from top, 10 from right, 10 from bottom so that your diagram will be looking good. I think so it's very clear for you. In case if you have any doubt means you can uh, type in the comment section. In case if you want us to take a particular problem or a particular topic also type in the comment section. Always give your feedback so that we can improve in upcoming days and uh, kindly support our channel by subscribing our channel and sharing the videos or to all first year students or your friends so that it would be very much helpful for them during the preparation and uh, do scan do watch the other playlist of our channel we will be having a variety of playlists and especially all those who are uh, aiming for job or grabbing job opportunities in core company will definitely make use of it whichever department you belonging to definitely during your final year our channel will help you a lot by searching the job and grabbing the job opportunities we will be bringing all job opportunities to your doorstep as well as we also have various journals kindly go through the other playlist and if you feel it's useful means kindly share to your friends hope so it will be very much clear and uh, thanks for watching the video and have a great day thank you